GameStop, I have this, uh, what is this, this Nintendo 64 game pack that I found in the trash. And I just wanted to see if it works. So I'm going to take it on over to GameStop to see if it's working. And of course, you guys are going to come along. So here we go. <coughs> It's a game pack, like a memory card for Nintendo 64. Really? Yeah, you have to go to like a place called Planet Train. They carry old Nintendo 64 like that, but I'm not sure about that. Well, they, do you know if they're tested? Okay. Mommy, I want to die. No, you can't have a star. That's the decoration. Okay, so you said play in play and trade. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's on like, it's on like, I'm just Okay. Okay. What? For real? Hey, let's do our Sunday we were doing in the backwoods. Oh, okay, come on, Mom. Okay. You got to do, um, it's about McChicken. I mean, not okay. McChicken. Um, McBite. Yeah, McBite. Okay, you got to do a beat. You got to be like, McBite. Make bite. Yeah, make bite. Yeah, you gotta do that. I say my bite, 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 bite. When I say fish. Okay, you ready? I just say make bite. Yeah, make bite. And no, I'll do the beat. And then you say fish. No, she don't. Oh, you don't. I just say fish. She say make bite. Are you recording? Don't record yet. Wait, wait, wait. 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 What am I supposed to make? You gotta be like, make, 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 guys so this is what I just took out the dumpster a warring fryer I'm gonna have to take it home to see if it's working if not I'll just sell it for the parts I'll just scrap it let's see <clears throat> oh these are cool some cute little lightning McQueen boots that can get sold in the kid section really really cool the pros and cons of dumpster diving all right, let's first start off with the pros. You can make lots of money doing it. Um, you can consider it a hobby. You meet great people. Um, you can go, hey, inside. I've been inside of homes that were like super humongous. So you have the luxury of actually seeing what other people's homes look like. I don't know, I get a kick out of that. And uh, again, you make great money. Now, let's go with the cons. 
It stinks. Dumpster diving is disgusting. You see all kind of spoiled food, rats. Um, sometimes you can meet nasty people. Um, they look at you like you're a piece of scum. But not knowing that you're digging in their garbage, making money off of their garbage. Anywho, um, what else is the, the cons? Um, it's just icky, you know. After doing this, I have to immediately go home and take a bath. You know, it's hard for me to kiss on my kids and hug my kids when I uh, finish working. So, baths are very important before and after. Um, and um, that's basically it. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay. What in the world is this? A Black and Decker Pivot? I don't know what this is, but I'll look it up on eBay. Oh, oh this is really pretty. Pretty picture, glass picture. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. It works. All right, guys. Nobody would ever believe that I found a flat screen TV, HD TV, behind the garbage. A Samsung. Hold on. I'm going to try to pull it out. Hey, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm out of breath because I just put this huge, humongous television in my car by myself. I just wanted to show you guys the power and the strength of a woman. Yeah. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Some Tory Burch flats. This is about $60 here, in great condition, patent leather. Well, since my car was totaled in the uh, accident um, that I had about a couple of days ago, this is what I'm driving in to dumpster dive. Cool, right? I also found these really cool Nike Fit gym shoes. Let me see, they are a size C. Seven and a half, in really great condition going to clean those up a bit and should get about mm, 40 to 50 dollars if not more twerking in chicago if you ever get a chance go on over to youtube and look up um the name twerking and you will see the dance that <laughs> goes with this name i think it's really cool i wish i knew how to twerk 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 unfortunately i don't um so yeah just go on over and just see uh what twerking is all about so, like they say here, twerking in Chicago, twerking in Chicago. My hand is twerking. Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. You know, unfortunately, I can't get this um, for Haley because I don't have enough room in my car. Now, if I do decide to get it, I will have to take out the um, flat screen TV. And we do need the flat screen TV in our home. So, uh, the decisions you have to make as a parent are really tough. So what I'm going to end up doing is just buying Haley a brand new one. But I, I'm like really hurt right now because my baby would absolutely enjoy this. Man, decisions, decisions. Just found these really cool Ed Hardy boots in really great condition. I just found this really cool, I want to say old jacket. I've never seen this symbol a day in my life. So I'm going to call this the old jacket here. This type of stuff, I don't take. I, I don't, this is nasty. You know, I don't want nobody else's bras. Uh, let's see, you have a nice, cool-looking skirt. This is so cute. My daughter would love this. That, it's really cute leopard chukot, what is chuka? Rain boots, really, really cute. Now all I need, need to do is just find the other one. Here's another cute skirt. Mini skirt, really cute. Another metallic looking shirt by Guess. Really, really cute. Alright guys, I just found these cool Ray-Ban glasses in really great condition right out of the dumpster that I was just looking in. And it's also a lot of other cool stuff down here.
Let's see what we have over here. Look like somebody threw out all of their belongings. Let's see. Clothes and boxes of shoes. Alright guys, let me show you the items that I just found out of the trash can that I was just looking in. I found some really cool Crocs that needs to be cleaned but in overall in great condition. I found these Johnson and Murphy uh, Made in Italy shoes. Just need a little bit of polishing and then that'll be it for those. I also found these really cool, um, what's the name of these, head mittens. Really great for skiing or cold weather activities. And I also found these really cool Crocs right here. Really, really cool. So these are some of the items that I just uh, picked up from the trash can. Guys, I wanted to show you this uh, collage that I found full of uh, postcards from Paris. Um, if you ever come uh, across any postcards um, from places, um, usually outside of the U.S., they uh, usually sell pretty well on eBay. Um, I just found a um, group of uh, Disney photos that I just sold on Facebook. I'm, I'm sorry, on uh, eBay. So I just wanted you guys to know that um, postcards do sell really well if you uh, happen to come so across So I'm sitting them. in the car and I uh, did a completed listing on some of the items that I have here in the car from Dumpster Diving. And I ran across this Windows 7 Home Premium Microsoft upgrade. And I, I was like super shocked because when I first seen it in the trash, I was going to leave it there because I'm like, okay, nobody wants old Windows um, CDs. So whatever, I'm just going to leave it in the trash. So, but something told me to get it. So after I did my completed listing, I realized that this thing is worth $80 used. So, I'm like super duper geek because I have like about a total of, I want to say, $250 worth of goodies in here um, just from simply doing dumpster diving. And I'm just like totally blessed. I'm so geek because the Lord has really been blessing me. My phone has been cha-chinging off the, off the mark. My, my sales have just been just going through the roof. And I'm like super duper just like excited because I'm just so grateful that the Lord has really heard my prayers and just been blessing me and my family um, to the point of just, you know, I'm just ecstatic because, man, you guys just don't understand how much this means to me. I'm able to help my husband and that's have, that's really been like my main goal is to be able to assist my husband and paying bills and just taking care of the family because I'm a stay-at-home mom and you know I, I don't want to be just a complete burden on my husband people can say what they want to say you know when you're a stay-at-home mom sometimes we feel as if we're burdens to our husbands even though they say you know even though they say that we aren't we are not it's still just the mere thought of them just doing everything and just to be able to contribute in some way, shape, or form is just truly, you know, our, um, just truly our goal as wives. And I'm just, like, so excited again because I'm, I'm finally able to do something that I enjoy doing. And to be able to assist my husband with something that I enjoy doing is just, like, just, man, just a success for me. So I'm sorry for venting and telling you guys about my life, but I just wanted you guys just to, to be able to feel where I'm coming from and how, how blessed I, I truly am.